What's up everybody? Rick Denim here, Holy Moly Outdoors. Thank you so much for joining us. So we are talking about a tried and true technique, fishing buzz bombs for salmon. Now specifically, we're going to go through the actual buzz bombs, showcasing you the different sizes, showcasing you the rigging. So stay tuned, this one is going to be awesome. Alright everybody, so we're talking about the buzz bombs here, and I have laid out in front of us an assortment of the different sizes that are now available. There are a few newer ones that have recently come out as well as this new color line with a UV property as well. So I figured I wanted to showcase this full size range with a new color that I think can be really effective. And so uh, let's dive right into this. Now going left to right here is the descending sizes, right? This one at the far end is a five inch, which I would really say is a perfect for a pier situation for someone needing to really cast extremely far out or get to a very deep depth that would be really good because it is a very heavy size there this is a four inch long and this one is again potentially another pier option with a little bit smaller profile could definitely cast really far from the beach this middle one here is a three inch extra heavy so this is a actually wider version of the buzz bomb to be uh, something that not only casts further because it's heavier, but also has a wider flutter on the drop. So that one, that one right here can be really effective um, on fish that either are really aggressive that want something that sinks quick, or you're trying to really reach a little bit further on your casting distance highly recommend going that route. Um, so like I said, 5 inch, 4 inch, 3 inch, and here is probably the most common and my favorite size for a shore fisherman, and that is a 2.5 inch. So for a shore fisherman, this 2.5 inch size I really feel is the ideal because whether you have a full flood tide or an ebb tide or even slack, it doesn't matter. This will continually work for you in all conditions. You can cast really far because of how these are designed and just overall is a great starter size. So if I had to pick any of these to go buy from the store, the 2.5 inch standard is what I would do. Now you have a couple smaller sizes down here. Here's a two inch and the new inch and a half. Now the two inch can definitely still work for salmon. There's not not saying it won't. It's definitely a smaller size, so you would have to use something lighter on the line um, and be able to cast that further. And then this inch and a half. These I would say is more geared towards the freshwater fisherman, um, somebody that likes to jig for kokanee. These two sizes absolutely could be dynamite for that. And I will be trying these in the next coming year season maybe even if we can get into some of those late fall kokanee before they spawn um, we might be able to do a video on that for you guys but this is essentially the rundown of the buzz bomb and how these sizes all correlate so again that's five inch four inch three inch a two and a half a two and now an inch and a half is the newest one now this color um, is called the flash bomb. So this is a UV flash. This has a blue tip on this one. Um, the middle size is flash bomb red. And I'll put everything in the link description below here for you guys to look at. And then there's flash bomb green. So a couple different variances. Now for salmon, I really feel the color with the red and the green tips could be really effective the blue as well but I mean I would say for a shore fisherman you're not going to be fishing this five inch or off the beach more than likely this is a pure application for casting and fishing really deeper water so as a shore guy I'm gonna 
set these two aside and say to focus on a three inch extra heavy and your two and a half inch. Well, I changed my mind. I think we're just going to do this right here at the table since we have everything. We're not going to worry about wind noise or potentially anything else on the water on the rigging up. So we'll showcase this to you really simple. You're going to take your buzz bomb that you got here. Again, this is my favorite, the two and a half inch. And when you unbox and open one of these up, show you here what you get. So this is the physical buzz bomb. We'll see if I can keep it in focus. But you can see the diamond shape. Buzz bomb made in Canada. And it tells you too the longer pointed end here is where your hook's gonna go. Your main line's gonna run through this and tie it off. So that's your buzz bomb, the physical. Now they give you a nice little rubber bumper and a treble hook. And treble hook, cool, but honestly, Puget Sound, especially here in Washington State, you cannot use a barbed hook, let alone a treble. So I just have a high quality side wash that I really like, and that is what we will be using. Now, as far as side wash size, it's totally up to you. Um, but on these buzz bombs, I want something that's at least this is a one aught. So you could go potentially even three four aught if you wanted. Gives you a better hook gap, but a one aught is perfectly fine. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. Something you're going to need, a pair of scissors, a couple swivels of your choice, some leader line, doesn't matter what it is, I like 15 pound Iser line, and I'm going to pull off about a foot and a half to give myself a little bit of extra room and this is an optional piece but I really think will make a huge difference as to fish catching a little two inch mini squid skirt and I'll showcase what we do with that here in a minute but we'll at least be able to get this started so one of Our swivels is going to be tied on up top here and I'm just going to tie the ward knot really fast but you guys can look at this video up in the top corner of showcasing exactly how this is done Get a little saliva on that to make sure the knot cinches properly. Got that. Cut my tag in. Now you could honestly just slide the buzz bomb on the line, throw the bumper on there, tie the hook, you're good to go. But I have, in my experience, found this to be a very effective way about it. So this is a side wash hook, and if you can see there, there is a small gap, which allows you to pinch this hook to whatever you may need it to be pinched on. I like to pinch it on a swivel, so I will then Take a set of pliers here, crimp that down, so where there was an open gap, there is no longer. But now, you can fish it just like this with the swivel, and when you hook a fish, 
they have no hinge point now to get off. But we're going to take this a little bit further and go to our little squid skirt that I showed you. Cut the nose. So now I have a hole to slide this through. You can see there. Now that I pops out the head of the squid and it will not go down past the swivel. But now you have a skirted sidewash hook. We'll take our leader that we have and again remember the directions are on the buzz bomb which is great. So you're going to thread the leader top through here out the bottom so the green end of the tip is going to be where our hook is you then thread the bumper on down so that is resting up against the end of the buzz bomb here Now we're going to thread on our squid skirt with the sidewash and swivel that we just put together. Wet the line. And I give myself roughly a foot of a leader. Cut off the tag end. And there is your finished rigging. So if we're here in Washington State in Puget Sound, that barb has to be pinched on the hook. But that is a very simple and very effective fishing rig for salmon off the beach. And that rubber bumper will really be helpful because this free slides so you won't have to worry about beating up your knot down here off this swivel. Now, you don't have to tie in this swivel here. You could just have your main line run all the way through and tie it straight on. But what I like to do is have an extra swivel up top and you now have an extra swivel below because this lure spins a lot as you cast it, as you retrieve it, and if you get a fish especially. So you're going to end up running into a situation where the amount of line twist is incredibly increased. And you want to make sure that you're not going to run into any problems with that. And so I tie these all ahead of time on about foot liters with an extra swivel and I can put a dual lock on my main line, snap it in, quick change makes it very simple and very effective to fish. Mm -hmm.